that the internet is one of the best things that happened to the computer world. Can you imagine now you can have a complete life in cyber world? Let's start with network gaming. Basically for the teens, no? Because ang network gaming, ang gaming per se, starts from home, from the house, no? Nakakapaglako. Some people can play on their own in the house, tapos uh, with uh, with the computer as their opponent. But uh, with the eve of yung cyber, yung mga network cafe, um, they were able to play interactively with other players. Um, other players who want to play the same games. No? Some of the most, well, right now, the most popular one is Counter-Strike. And then there's a game called Red Alert. Ano naman siya? Uh, war strategy game naman siya. And so, with uh, StarCraft, and there's a Flashpoint. Because most of these games, no, uh, what it gives to the players is yung feeling that they can actually be able to play these games, yung mga war games, without actually going into war. Our gamers headquarters is a network gaming and internet gaming uh, internet gaming area for uh, teens and uh, adults alike. Na, you know, it's a lugar, lugar siya para pwedeng punta ng mga bata at saka mga matatanda para mag-use ng internet or they can also play network gaming games. No? Tapos uh, pwede sila mag-chat with uh, some of their friends locally and abroad and send email to their loved ones. Cut down on your telephone charges, go online and send that email to your friend, significant other, or relative who may be in the province or overseas. You may even chat with them real time. You would only need web cameras, microphones, and speakers. In chatting, naman, it's uh, when you talk to your friends locally or abroad with use of the computer. Okay, that's another one of the other uses of a computer. No? Instead of just calling your friends, you can just chat with them, you know, you type uh, whatever you want to send to them. And what's what's uh, better, uh, what's even nice about it is you don't have to call your friends or relatives abroad. You can just chat with them on the net. Um, quick response kaga, then it turns out to be cheaper. And you get to meet other friends uh, in different countries, different places, you know, who may share common interests. And, you know, you can talk about things that, about your country and about their country. If the yellow pages help you do the shopping via the telephone, the computer can make you shop and place your orders via the internet. For their latest offerings, check out the websites of your favorite stores. For job seekers, you could check out some online job sites like Trabajo.com, JobsDB.com, or JobStreet.com. And they have a list of company profiles and hopefully you can get a job match. You know, these days, even multinational companies accept resumes online. There are even new gadgets like PDAs as offshoots of the computer. And for those who have enjoyed the Microsoft softwares, there's another exciting program they've issued which recognizes your voice and allows you to literally dictate to your PC. One of the technologies we've incorporated in Microsoft Office XP is speech recognition. It's part of our effort to make the interface of the user and the computer a bit friendlier. So now you're able to take command of the menus by using your voice or be able to dictate a letter and have the computer type it out for you. Didn't I say you can have a serious one-on-one -on -one affair with your computer? Because it's so complete, so functional, and so interactive.